I don't know about any of you, but it's getting to that point watching these games where it reminded me of preseason. Maybe not, maybe not to that extent. But we know what's coming in the next, what, six, seven games? We know, I think it's six games. We know exactly what's coming. We know what team we're playing. Roughly, we know where we're playing. So a game like this, where they rest Mitch Marner, they rest Jake McCabe, they rest Mark Giordano on the second night of a back-to-back. It was kind of, yeah, a little iffy to watch. Now, things got interesting, though. First period, buck 30 in. They get a breakaway. Only Matter, the defenseman, gets a breakaway, and he buries it past Matt Murray underneath the blocker short side. Not a good goal, in my opinion. Um, again, for both guys, right? I don't like, um, the, the obviously, the defense letting a defenseman get behind you and allow a breakaway to happen. Because of a, a, mis- a misplay at the blue line from Sam Lafferty? Don't like that. Don't like that one at all. Um, then Yarncruck ties the game off a nice uh, feed from Abruzzese. Centers it to the middle of the ice. and he, Yarncruck, The initial shot was stopped. I don't know how he saved it. But the rebound, he banged home. Hey, we're tied at 1, 7.33 in. Good stuff, right? Five minutes after that, Bergen scores a turnover on the, uh, at the uh, Leafs' blue line. and comes back into our end and just goes bar down on Murray. And I'm just like, oh, God, this is not good. Not long after that, though. I think it was uh, Lucas Raymond. Loses an edge. Goes into the blue paint. Takes out Murray. You see Matt Murray's helmet and head hit the back of the ice. And he's slow to get up. We've seen this coming. We've all been scared. Every time someone breathes on Matt Murray, every time someone makes contact with Matt Murray, and he's even a little ginger getting up. Everyone in Leafs Nation is like, oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. And that was one of those times. Murray leaves the game, does not return and Ilya Samsonov, now on a back-to-back, has to play this game. You know, and then after a nice save that he made, they show the replay and he's kind of hunched over and I'm like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. We're not going to lose Murray and Samsonov in a meaningless game against Detroit. Samsonov stays in. He, overall, he looks pretty damn good the rest of the game. So I'm assuming everything's okay. You know what that means, though, with 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 uh, Matt Murray probably hitting the shelf. My guy Joseph Wall is going to get the call back up, and uh, I'm assuming that's what's going to end up happening here. Shots on goal in the first period were 15-10 in favor of the Leafs. No scoring happens in the second period. Leafs out shoot them 13 to seven in the second period, but cannot beat. Nadelovich. And then in the third, Leafs get an early power play. Point shot from Morgan Riley. It's tipped in by John Tavares. And the Leafs are within one. JT from Riley and Matthews at six minutes on the dot. But then four minutes after that, Dylan Larkin scores. On Ilya Samsonov. And uh, that one, I can't blame him. Wasn't really a bad goal. Uh, for Sam- Actually, I think I missed a goal tonight. Uh, it's two there, four... Yeah, I missed one of their goals. It's 5-2. Uh, either way. Either way. One more, I think it was Larkin's first one, actually, because he had a hat trick. Um, and you watched what happened in, late in that game, and the Leafs were pushing. And Look, I liked the effort. Shots and goal were 16-6 in favor of the Leafs in the third period. Shots and goal for the game were 44-23. It didn't feel like the Leafs flat out dominated, but if you look at the shots, if you look at the possession battle, at least probably won those ones. But something I want to bring up to you guys. Now we can sit here and say, well, no Geo, no, you know, no, no, no Jake McCabe, no Mitch Marner, which clearly you, when you don't have Mitch Marner, man, you notice it. You really do. John Tavares, minus four. 
Willie Nylander, minus four. Austin Matthews, minus two. Morgan Riley, minus two. TJ Brody, minus two. Justin Hall, minus two. Your big guys were on the ice for a lot of goals against. That's something to worry about, honestly, because, look, we know what this team is. At this point, we know what the Leafs are. It just sucks. But it is what it is. Shots on goal, uh, well, I guess the goaltender stats, Matt Murray, two goals on seven shots before he left the game. Ilya Samsonov, two goals on 15 shots. The second uh, Larkin goal, can't really blame him. He makes the initial save. No one's boxed him out in front of the net, and he just bangs home the rebound. I think it was out of midair, too. Uh, past Samsonov. So... It is what it is. EMC empty netter. Shout out Dylan Larkin for being a Detroit lifer. Literally went to Michigan. Uh, played in Michigan. Was he? Was he? Did he like? Was he born in Michigan? Went to high school in Michigan. College in Michigan. Now he's playing for Detroit, and he signs basically the career long uh, contract to stay in Detroit. So congrats to him for the hat trick tonight. As the Leafs lose five two to the the Red Wings. Like I, you guys can probably notice in my voice, I'm not angry. I just can't be. I, I know what's coming. I Look, I want them to lock up home ice, sure. I do. And even if they don't, like you're still going to have to play a seven-game series against that damn... Uh, against the damn Lightning. No matter what. Sure, you like to have the first couple at home, and then the Game 7 at home. But let's be honest. If it goes to Game 7, Leafs fans are pooping themselves. And I don't know if you, about you guys, but I'd rather it not go seven. If that's the case. You want to win it in six. And if you don't get home ice advantage, game six is at Scotiabank Arena. So there's that. No matter which way you look at it, just let's just get these six games over with, shall we? Clearly, that's the Leafs' mentality for not playing all their guys tonight. Special teams-wise, Leafs were over, uh, one for three in their power play. Detroit was 0 for one on their power play. And the next game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Look, I don't care who the heck you put in the ice. You can put clowns in the ice. You please win this game. Tuesday, Columbus at Scotiabank Arena. Okay? I do want home ice, though. No, I'm not, I'm not saying I don't want it because I damn well do. But if they don't, it's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? But Columbus on Tuesday, please win. You, you are four points up on Tampa. You have a game in hand. They have... Uh, five games left, I believe. Sure, a possible 10 points, you're four up. You in that game against Columbus, you're six up, and you're basically calling it a night for them, right? I don't know who 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 Tampa plays next, albeit they've been just been playing some really good hockey recently, which is very scary. They don't play Monday. Uh, oh, they, they don't play Tuesday either, so that's our, that's our last makeup game. All right, their next game is against the Rangers in New York. So... If the Leafs win their next game against Columbus, and the Rangers do their job on home ice against the Lightning and beat them in regulation, the Leafs will be six up with the game in hand, and the Tampa will can get like eight points, and it's basically mathematical that the Leafs get in at home ice. Win this game against Columbus, and we feel good. All right? So you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not the game today, I feel so bad for the people paying to watch that game tonight. You probably paid an arm and a damn leg for it. And then Mitch Marner's not playing. Jake McCabe's not playing. He's got, Gio's not playing. Not great. So I, 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 I wish they did it on a road game, but whatever. It is what it is. All right? So you know what, guys? Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you guys not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the game tonight. What'd you like, what'd you not like from the game for the Toronto Maple Leafs? The Twitter and Instagram links are down below. So follow up there if you guys have not done so already. The Discord and TikTok links. I've been slacking on the TikToks. It has been a whirlwind of the last couple days. I just have had no time. I I mean, I, if you guys noticed, the, even the Raptors and Jays video, I upped a little later than usual because it's like... I'm busy as heck. I was working today, and I had all kinds of crazy stuff going on. I am exhausted. I don't know if you guys can, you can probably, you can probably tell. I'm dead tired. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys Jay's edition tomorrow night, probably, maybe Tuesday morning. We'll have to wait and see. Up to the Jays and the Royals in KC. Jose Barrios gets the ball for the Blue Jays in game one of that four game set against Brady Singer. That game is at 740. As for the Raptors, they're back in action on Tuesday. As they uh, as they are in Charlotte taking on the Hornets at seven o'clock. As for the Leafs, they're back in action on uh, on Tuesday night as well. Columbus, seven p.m. and 
That is all she wrote. Leaf fans, thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And not really the game tonight. We'll talk to you guys then.